And it's some pretty cool opening to uh, the Exponential Files episode four. I have some confessions to make. It takes me a long time to make a business decision because it takes me uh, because it's so important to me. I'm not a shiny object guy. I'm a due diligence person, a full service guy. I thought that was my path to a great retirement. I forgot one thing. I need income during my retirement. Because for most agents, when they stop buying and selling, the income turns off. Well, I'm done with that forever. I and we want to show you exactly why we're so excited to bring you this information so that you can change your life in the same way or better. How's that, Jim? How's your week going? My week's going A-OK. -okay. <laughs> we put the fire out in the nuclear Oh, is the fire out in the nuclear plant? I think, I think so. Okay. Uh, your your sound is coming in and out. Um, Sorry. Oh, there you go. Um, okay. I, I have in, in our show notes right here, I, ha I have a statement that said, if it's too good to be true, uh, sometimes it's not. Well, uh, that was another thing that I had wrong. Sometimes... If it's too good to be true, you got to understand it better. And that's what we're here to do. Real estate industry has changed remarkably when EXP Realty uh, system began. What do you think, Jim? I think that it's um, a learning experience. Uh, for me, it was a combination of uh, many years of just sitting back and watching it. And with each passing year, uh, I, I would say uh, I understood it just a little bit better until recently I couldn't ignore it any, anymore. And I had to really pay attention and <clears throat> become basically an expert on all things EXP to figure out how they could grow their agent count like 77 or 78% in one year how they could go from 19 cents a share uh, when I first was introduced to EXP to, I mean, today, taking into account the stock split, it's probably over $50 a share and 75, 76,000 agents in 22 countries. And it doesn't seem like there's any loss of momentum. This, so, remi this reminds me of that, uh, Elvis Presley, I know I'm old, Elvis Presley album that said, if if 4,000 or 400,000 people like it, it can't be bad. Um, sometimes it can be bad, but in this case, it's not. Um, I followed the traditional path, like so many people. Uh, I worked hard. I understood the techniques. I learned scripts that everybody else was using, but I had to learn them because that's what it was. It was uh, more traditional um, skills and techniques. EXP provides a completely different model uh, for it. It provides different ways of teaching, of coaching, of being informed, of getting an answer the minute you need it. Uh, I have never felt alone uh, since I've, I've joined the, the company. It, it's pretty interesting. And uh, EXP World, which I originally dismissed as just a gimmick, um, I see the value of rolling out of bed and not having to shower, shave, and dress, and, and going right into a meeting where probably no one else is showered or, or dressed either. And uh, it's okay. We're, we're, all, we're all doing business, and we're all on the same, um, I'd say, same level. Uh, EXP started the meta world before Facebook became meta. and, and uh, Met Metaverse. Yeah. Metaverse. Metaverse. Um, yeah. Yeah. Verse. And that, that can uh, so, be a confusing term for some people. Uh, what it is, it's a, it's a virtual world where you're dealing with real people. 
Um, I'm not a gamer. I understand it's it's similar to those multi-level games that that people play, and they're they're actually talking to somebody, and their avatar is some great big guy with a big gun, or you know, some totally babelicious somebody with a big gun. It um, it it's a, it's a way to have a meeting. I mean, Zoom is. Um, one of those ways, uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, there's, pl there's plenty of video. Ch I mean, we're on Zoom right now, for example. Um, these video chats are fine, but think about it. You have a shareholder meeting for EXP and each one of the agents has stock in the company. I mean, that's pretty much, you know, there may be a few that never had anyone choose them as a sponsor. Maybe they never sold anything they're not going to get stock unless they purchased it. And then there are people outside the company, but all those people, let's say there's a hundred thousand people. Where are you going to have an arena for a shareholder meeting where a hundred thousand people can go to the meeting and they don't have to travel. They don't have to book a hotel. They don't have to pack a bag. You don't have to they tip don't have your to bartender. Go to the airport. <laughs> The, you just go right into the meeting. So EXP World has that for state MLS meetings. Uh, as, far as, I, as far as I know, you and me, Larry, we could start our own meeting in EXP World and invite people to it. And it could be all about, you know, just learning about EXP uh, in, in case you didn't know about agent attraction down to the last little granular fact we could start our own meeting right right well this is uh, it's different in so many ways i mean that whole recruiting thing um i was a kwh and i was on the alc that means you're the top 20 percent in, in the office i i bit off and swallowed a lot of that um i didn't understand that profit share was not revenue share the difference being um, the profit share can be anything that the, the franchise owner decides. I'm profitable, I'm not profitable. Revenue share is top line. So if the commission is X amount, you get that commission minus whatever your splits and, and uh, things are, it's always going to be less. So in the end, you're going to put more money in your pocket. That sounded like a shiny object to me. Um, I just got my first two checks and uh, I was, I loved, loved, loved the fact that it was so transparent. They sent me a letter before my check arrived and said, this is what's going on. You just got this much stock. You just did this. It, it's absolutely exciting. I didn't have that with Keller Williams, with Remax or with Exit. I was with all three of those other franchises. I didn't have it. I didn't have that till I came to the Castles Unlimited team. So question, question. Uh, so you got the check. So it's on your first sale. You're getting X amount of dollars worth of stock. How many dollars was it? Was it 400 or was it 200? I forget. Well, no, this is just, it, it's not what I get for coming in or I get for having brought several people in already. It was just on that particular transaction. Oh, okay. And I, I was all in. I, I told them early oh, on. Breakdown. Every every check, I, well, it's one of the other ways that you get income. And I can't retire unless I have other ways. And stock is one of those. If I buy it in, I think it's 26 bucks right now. Uh, so I got a certain number of, of stock right now. Um, how's that gonna be in a year from now? Uh, and no with all the- know. Well, so are you doing no, the you 5%? Can... Yeah, I- the 10% I, discount? I did it. I, I went all in because I want to I want to not retire from work, but retire from the grind in four years, four and a half years. I've said that and I'm going to do that. that that's realistic. Most, yeah. most 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 of the agents that I see that are involved in agent attraction, they're figuring two or three years to get a monthly uh, income that. Right. Is, is sort of like the tipping point between, well, I enjoy working, that's why I'm working, or you know what, 
I enjoy working, but I don't have to work right now. And right. maybe take six months off and travel. Right, right. Uh, and realize that for the most part, that monthly amount is going to stay the same or grow because you've already hit sort of a critical mass with your downline. And, and what I mean to say is you've already recruited enough people who have recruited enough people that it's going to expand out. The advantage to bringing more people in is you open up more levels to the full um, full percentage, the full dollar amount that you can get paid. So like on the second level, it goes from 0.2% to 4%. That's a 20X difference for the difference between recruiting one to four agents and recruiting right. five agents. Right, right. Um, I started real estate in Texas. Um, I've been part of uh, groups where we do script practicing all over the country. So I know a lot of different people in that regard. And several of them, Suzanne McInerney here in our uh, market. Hey, I apologize to you. I did not listen to what you were saying to me. And so I'm a couple of years behind, but uh, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm taking the time. That's why we're taking the time to bring this information to people. Oh. It's a different company now also. Um, yeah. You know, you, you go back two or three years, there were fewer top level. I mean, Suzanne certainly is a top level agent, but it just seems like every day another top level agent is making the move to uh, the EXP business model. And uh, that's um, it, it's ramping up that that's it, it's not just numbers of agents, but it's also the quality of the agents. Right, right. I've got a second uh, call with a top level compass agent today. Um, she's 500 GCI. Um, so cer certainly an icon agent. And, uh, and she's, what Jim, she's curious. And and what Jim means means by five hundred, not five hundred dollars, five hundred thousand dollars GCI. GCI is uh, your gross commission. Her income, her income, yeah. annual, and uh, she's been doing this uh, pretty consistently. So, yeah, I mean, I had a fear that yeah, um, the better agents wouldn't come, but they are. They 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 see the value in making more money and having more income streams. So you, you're talking a little bit, when you talk about Suzanne, you're talking about humble pie, eating, eating a little humble pie. Um, I don't have any regrets of not doing it sooner. It wasn't the right time. I almost did it last January, as opposed to doing it in the fall. Um, I hadn't found the right sponsors. Um, and there were certain things I didn't, it wasn't that I didn't understand it. it I didn't see how it would work for my business and I, right. and I sort of worked through, I mean, nothing is a hundred percent perfect. I could tell you what I would do to change things, but it, it doesn't matter. You, you, you're never gonna find perfection. It just does not exist. Right. But yeah. this business model is so unique and, and so, um, so profitable. You know, the yeah. potential profit level is, is second to that um, it's worth taking, you know, the, the, the lumps with it. Yeah. And you work through it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and some of those lumps in, in full transparency, um, it is an incredibly deep and layered technology that does work, but you have to learn how to do it in the right way. And that took me a little bit of time. I'm, uh, I'm an old guy, but I'm an old dog who knows a couple of new tricks and a couple of old tricks. So I, you just had to work through it. But we in about our, KV core or sky slope, it, it was both of those. In fact, it was absolutely both of those that that have certain difficulties about it runs perfect when you get it perfect. <laughs> I wanted to do it my way because I'm a real estate agent. And that's what we all say. You know, but once I actually took the time to actually understand it was going, it became so much easier. And that's why I'm here to, to help other people. And I know that's why you're here. Like we want to help you 
understand these things and not spend a couple of years not listening to your close friends tell you about how they're how well they're doing. Um, it's not puffery and uh, it's it's fact. And I love the fact that I can make money with my stock. I can make money with with anybody who uh, is attracted and comes in and works and learns and I'll help you through everything just like you will. Um, it's you as a sponsor, in other words. Yeah, us as a sponsor. You know, it's it's uh, you always in real estate want to be around good people, people who are willing to help you. And I didn't feel that before. I got a lot of lip service about it, you know, um, but in the in the end, it was me figuring out everything for my business. And that's just not true. The EXP model wants you to build your brand, but they're going to help you build your business. Two different things, business and brand. So with I, all the agents uh, getting stock for their successful um, team building and their successful, um, well, you know, once you cap, you get additional stock also. So the more money you make, the more you're rewarded. Right. So that's why I, I guess at the end of the day, it's a model that really does appreciate and reward top agents yeah because the more money they make the more money they make yeah more money they make hey here's a here's a really cool thing about exp by their charter 50 percent of their revenue goes to the agents no other franchise or 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 boutique bro brokerage does that you know, they all said the agent is most important. Well, in fact, the agent is the most important. They're the ones who are making it rain. But um, now I'm in a company that really proves that, you know, by charter. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I trust that. I'm seeing it. I've seen it with people who came over before I came over. Um, I don't well, know. Everyone has, a, everyone has a stake in it. Right. Right. That's why you. That's why you're seeing the cooperation. Yeah. Because everyone, in some small way, benefits from the growth of the company. Even if someone didn't choose you as their sponsor, or it's like, gee, I I didn't know. I probably would have used you as. It doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. You're part of the team now. Right. Right. They want you to be successful, so we can be successful. And, and uh, who's the lead dog there is you. You, the individual agent building your brand inside a company that cares about you. And um, that isn't puffery. That isn't bullshit. It's not a pyramid scheme. It's, it's each, each person is building their own. It, it's more of a triangle anyway. Pyramid is right. four-dimensional. This is two-dimensional, two <laughs> three-dimensional. <laughs> no, no, pyramid is three dimensional. This is two dimensional, but any organization is going to have someone at the top, someone you know, people below the top, the middle, you know, all the way down right. to the bottom. But right. uh, it really doesn't matter. There, there, there's thousands of these triangles out there in the business world. Anyway, every brokerage. It's not just EXP. The only difference is that at EXP they built a business model that pays everybody in that system whereas in the other companies it's it's not built that way yeah and here's another thing with the other companies they they split out if if somebody here's one of the things that always bothered me if you're uh uh closing uh 10 million dollars worth of property a year that's that's pretty good living but you say you want to go to 15 or 20 because of course you want growth in other agencies and other franchises, you can go to a mastermind, but you can't go to a mastermind out of what you've already produced, which is absurd. It's absolutely absurd. You should what do you, what's a mastermind? A mastermind is when the people who are uh, from the organization and you go to a family reunion, you go to uh, uh, Remax is having their thing right now. I think it's in Colorado. When you go to them, 
the breakout rooms um, are broken up and they're broken up by what your GCI was. And it's very rigid. So you're around people who are doing the same level as you. You're not going to learn from those people. That's okay. absurd. I that's absurd. Yeah, that's absurd. At, yep. at EXP, I can have meaningful conversation. I can take meaningful courses with people who are tripling, quadrupling what I'm doing. They're the people I want to hear from. They're the people I want uh, uh, to have the ear of so I can ask questions. Um, Any one little suggestion can double your income. Yeah. 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 And, um, and have. I mean, how about be authentic? Don't have, you know, uh, a, uh, a training program and have everybody in that room, the time I went, 800 people doing the same script, you know, oh my God, you know, it's just, um, maybe it's appropriate. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm no, just, I don't know if scripts are really a thing anymore. You know, right. we've, we've got the internet, we've got such an educated buyer and seller clientele out there um it almost seems like everyone's on the same page and equal equal footing at this point. yeah yeah hey um i realize since i'm running the show i didn't plug in my battery and i have a low battery so uh uh just give me a moment and uh tell the audience something it'll just take me a second be right back <laughs> Well, um, my, my book, uh, Your Million Dollar Month in Real Estate, um, was, um, was sent off to the printer um, on Monday. This is Friday. <clears throat> so any, uh, any moment now, I should have a, a physical copy to um, start uh, doing a final review. But in the meantime, uh, if you're interested in getting a copy, um uh, reach out to me uh jim at castles unlimited.com is my email and uh i don't want to give the whole world my cell phone but it, it, it's there it's on google everything's if there you wanna, if you want if you want to text me I, I i prefer text the calls i like phone calls i, I if you communicate with me i'll communicate back uh my least favorite is uh uh, the one through Facebook, DMing the through Facebook makes me go on Facebook. I don't kind of always want to do that. Um, anyway, I, I mean, if you are going to uh, send me a, a direct message to Facebook, just be aware that I look at Facebook about once a month. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, just looking at some uh, some of these other notes that I took, uh, I, I took a webinar earlier uh, today about some different aspects uh, of of how I can build my own business, and um, I find that anytime you take a course, uh, you got to take action right away, and they give you ways in which to take action, which are going to uh, uh, produce results for you. And it's so transparent to me. It's not like lay down the groundwork and, um, and it, it's, it's going to take you six months. Um, it isn't. It doesn't. And it shouldn't. But of course, I have over 10 years experience. And uh, so I'm not having to relearn everything um, with this, just the technology. Um, and all the technology is another thing that uh, I'm kind of a techie guy. I'm a nerdy guy. I'm a techie guy. I like how things connect to each other. And the fact that my CRM connects to my marketing, connects to my um, uh, signatures, connects to my compliance, uh, connects to uh, my electronic signatures, what I meant. Um, your, web your website, of course. And and uh, KV Core website, which uh, right now in the real estate industry, or um, I think it costs three hundred and forty nine dollars a month for all of that. I only pay eighty five bucks. And um, if you're looking to build a business, save money, keep money in your pocket, 
stop buying that shiny object. It's not that the next CRM. It's not the next uh, shiny object, whatever that would be. Um, only that EXP has a higher split and a lower cap and issues stock. It's, it's, it's the keys to that agent attraction revenue share. I mean, that's yeah. incredible. Uh, for, I'm 40 years in the business. I've been for 36 years running my own company, training agents, going over paperwork, you know, insuring them, paying overhead. Well, you get everything that you need for a business, including training for how to run a business. But how, how do you get a, a business essentially with no overhead where you can grow it? You can scale this business infinitely. You could have thousands of agents that work for you and not have to handle any compliance at all, no training at all, no insurance at all, no physical office overhead at all, and just reap the benefits. I mean, talk about the genius of Glenn Sanford. I mean, it, he, 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 may, uh, he may never have figured this out if it wasn't for KW. So we have to sort oh, of absolutely. Thank, thank KW for giving him the ability to grow his team to a point where he got frustrated and had to create something else. Right. So that's, that's sort of like a left-handed compliment. Is that what, is that what I, uh, I think we, we build on what we've learned from before. We build on that and we make it better. Um, but this I is the, I tried to make it better myself for years. I was using the EXP revenue share model to pay my agents that had other agents come to castles unlimited. Uh, and it did work, but it didn't work to, to the point of 76,000 agents. And it didn't work to the point where I didn't have much more work to do every day. Right. I had much more work to do every time I had a success. I had more work. Right, right. So it, it's either more work for you, you have to hire more people. So uh, there's a cost benefit ratio there that uh, wasn't as advantageous as it is with EXP. Well, you're never going to have all the money. You know, Glenn Sanford doesn't have all the money and he, he did it right. He, he literally said, we're going to have as little or no overhead as possible. I think he runs this organization probably out of his house. If, if you know, may, maybe there's a corporate office, I don't know. But if I look in my local MLS, how many offices are there? They're everywhere. I mean, yeah. every every broker has the opportunity to open up a little a little physical office somewhere and right. put their team on the map. They've figured out that part of it too. It's yeah. it's all pretty ingenious. It, it absolutely is. And um, I'm speaking about myself when, when I say the most expensive thing you can have, you can own, is a closed mind. And I'm suggesting that you open up your mind and, and realize uh, that you should at least check this out. If someone is reaching out to you, talk to them. See what's in it for you, because what's in it for them, uh, they'll tell you about as well. But what's in it for you is a whole new, a whole new life, uh, and I'm looking forward to my retirement. <laughs> I can add to that. I yeah. always planned to write a second book. I always planned to write a second book about real estate because uh, my first book um, was published seven years ago, mm -hmm. and I, I, I'll have to read through part of the book to see if I even touched on EXP. Maybe their logo showed up. There was a page of, of brokerage brands and maybe the logo did show up. I, I don't know. I don't know if I really dug into their business model. Um, I don't know if it was that earth shattering at that point. Uh, I, I don't know how compelling it was seven years ago. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, that's when I published it. So it's basically almost eight or nine years ago that I actually wrote the book. Uh, after being part of EXP for maybe a month, I was compelled to write the second book. Yeah. Yeah. Give and the name compelled of that to book. get it out as quickly as possible, not take right. a year right. to edit it and get right. it published. Just 
get it done. It's your million dollar month is the name of this new book. Million dollar month. Uh, actually, I always I, I I kind of planned for it to be your billion dollar year in real estate. Certainly, there are agents that are, you know, they're not every agent could probably ever achieve those kinds of numbers. But um, I think with the EXP model, the million dollar month, it, it's not impossible for more more agents to achieve those numbers. Right. But e even so, maybe it was maybe it's a million dollar year. Yeah. Maybe it's a five hundred thousand dollar year, and and maybe you're not working anymore. That's the difference. Yeah. They, they it's have a business model where you don't have to work yeah. necessarily at yeah. a certain point. You know, every agency and every they trot out these people who are hugely successful. You know, I made a million dollars and all of that. And and some of that, that's part of the thing. Like I just uh, glaze over in these things. What I can say is that every month I've been in this company, uh, my income has grown. And you could call me up. I'll be quite candid with it. Uh, uh, it's just better. Um, and I'm getting checks for doing nothing because I own stock, because I, I, I know good agents who who wanted to come in and, and join something where they can make a better living. You know, oh, boy. And the funniest part about this, Larry. You 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 gave me a lot of crap for this. Oh, hell yeah, I did. You hell were, yeah, you were you actually you sat there and you listen to me and you didn't say a word and then a few days later you gave me the, you gave me that call it's like how dare you and i've had a number of agents like that how yeah. dare you yeah and some of them are not with the company right now i i will venture that they will at some point either come back or not come back but if they don't come back they're probably not coming back cuz they might be a little embarrassed that they made the wrong decision. I'm never embarrassed to be wrong. I'm embarrassed to not correct my wrong. And I, after I yelled at you, I did come back the next day and I said, are you, you, you apologize. Yeah, I, I said I was because I actually did my work um, to figure it out. And that's why I'm here. I want to help other people not be as stupid as me. And I explained to you, I said, I, I, I worked on this for 10 years. Yeah. I did not just say, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Where, where's the paper that I signed? I said no about a hundred times. Yeah. 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 Until it just didn't make any sense to say no anymore. And yeah. then I had to figure out how to do it, how to pick my sponsor, how to lay out my program. Right. And EXP has some flexibility. You got to know the people who know how to answer the questions but you may have to figure out what the questions are. Uh, I, I put some of those questions in the book because believe me, most people don't even know what the questions are. So you'll never get the answers if you don't know what the questions are. Right, right. Well, we have uh, shared a half an hour of great information. We're going to do that every single week here. If you have something that you'd like us to talk about specifically, let us know. We'll do that. Um, we are uh, streaming on YouTube through the Exponential Files, and we really appreciate you being here with us uh, this week. Uh, say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. Well, we have music. Run that music. There we go. <laughs> thanks, Larry. Thanks, yeah, thanks for Jim. joining us. See you next See you week. Next week. Nice weekend. Yeah, you too. <laughs>